I think my wife is cheating on me with her cousin. This situation happened about two weeks ago and I've gone from fully trusting her to deeply doubting her. My wife and I met when I was 19 and we fell in love quite quickly. She had a four-month-old child from a previous relationship. That father hasn't been in the picture since I've known her. Ever since I was a kid I wanted to be a father but I have a genetic disorder. I don't wish to pass on so adoption was just great with me. Anyhow, we've been just like your normal family every day since then. We got married last year. She was never super close with her family but she did have a pair of cousins she was always kind of close to and I had lots of fun getting to know them. And they seemed like decent people. She did mention that one of them, let's call him Max. When they were like 12 and 13 he tried to kiss her but she ran off. I asked her if she ever told anyone and she said she talked it up to him being a stupid kid. We see him on Christmas every year and he seems like a normal dude. I actually liked him as her family has a bunch of stuffed shirts and he's down to earth. Recently they've reconnected and gone to a few family functions. We own one car and since I needed it for work he picked her up and drove her to these things. Nothing seemed out of the ordinary about this. They are cousins after all. Her behavior really didn't make any obvious changes, however randomly. As I was watching TV one night she came in and mentioned that I had friended a girl from my place of work. I accepted a friend request we're a pretty open couple and things don't usually offend us. For instance, she'll remark on an attractive guy and make some sort of lewd remark. She didn't accuse me of cheating but it felt like she was about to which has never happened before. The reason I mention this is because I've read cheaters accuse their partner as a projection or something. Anyway, these family outings were legit. The whole family post pics them on Facebook and the wife sends pics from the outings. There were two of these events and each time the wife came home and was like a robot. Sax seemed normal. Not quieter than usual but as she suffers from depression, she often gets cold every so often and when I asked her if she was doing alright, she chalked it up to that. Well two weeks ago she left for work and as it was my day off, I puttered around the house, dropped the boy off at school and came home to check my mail on Facebook. I saw that I had a message from her cousin. He and I recently discussed going out to see a farm team baseball game and I thought he was getting back to me. The message reads I'd like to see you on your knees. I was confused as hell, until I realized that my wife was still signed in and it was her he was talking to. I wanted to kill him. I instantly rushed and read through their chat log and it's filled with him creeping on her and while she is saying things like but I'm married and no I'm married. These read like very thin no's, like she is saying no because she has to, not because she wants to. I'm disgusted and absolutely floored about it but since none of them mentioned anything happening yet and she is denying him kindly. I can't exactly say she's cheating. Well, when she gets home and our son is put to bed, I confront her over the situation. She instantly breaks down into hysterics and tears, saying things like I didn't do anything. I didn't know how to tell you, I was just hoping he stopped. Now she and I both suffered childhood sexual abuse from family friends. We both went to years of therapy for it and for that reason we have very good communication skills when it comes to comfort and boundary and how to express ourselves about unwanted advances. I love her and I wanted to believe her and that he was just being a creep, but the way she didn't tell me and acted seemingly normal leads me to believe something else was going on. I told her that I believed her and asked her if I could message him to tell him to back off and how disgusted I am that they are cousins, or if she would prefer to tell him and handle it herself. She first expressed that she would tell him that I knew and not to call her, but her resolve cracked as she was confident this would just stop. I was furious about that but didn't express it after knowing she was going to. I was going to give him a peace of mind. This is my wife and if she's being harassed I will end it, and if she's not being harassed then that means that she's cheating on me. So I messaged him, he saw it but made no reply. The wife says I should have let her handle the situation and I told her there was no way I was going to keep quiet in the face of this. She seemed to understand and expressed in the end that I was probably right to confront him because she didn't know how. Everything seemed to return to normal. But three days later I came home and she's crying. I asked her what's wrong and she said it's Max, you should have let me handle it. I messaged him yesterday and he won't talk to me. We had the conversation again about me not sitting idly by when somebody is harassing my wife. She gave me a look. It wasn't much and it was only for a second, but it gave me the impression that she didn't consider it harassment. We ended the discussion in agreement that I handled it how any man would handle it. Two days later I'm coming to bed late like 2 a.m. As I was finishing up some work, I hear her on the phone with somebody kind of chuckling. This is not normal. When I asked her, she told me it was her mom and had something to do with her kid's birthday, which I buy, but at this point I didn't. I've begun playing stupid, so I can observe the situation from a place where she feels comfortable. The next day she is crying again and at this point I've really had it. She's been unstable for two weeks now when I ask her if this is about Max again she says she tried to call and apologize for not handling the situation herself and that he still isn't talking to her. I admit it. I snapped. I told her that either he was abusing her or she was cheating on me and I caught them on the couch tonight. Obviously I wanted to be a believer but I'm not by her shit. 
I'm essentially laying here with my finger on the button waiting for some solid truth because if this is what it is, it's feeling more and more like I'm about to go 95-0 mega and nuclear on both of them. Sorry for the length. I just don't know what I can do from here on. Edit. Thanks for all the input. She goes to work in 6 hours. I will apologize for my outburst and ask her to sit down with me and talk. Tonight it's Sunday and our son typically stays the night with my parents every other Sunday. I'm not proud of it but I feel it's in my best interest to do a snooping. If I find nothing, we will discuss what happened when it started, what I can do to help her and what we ought to do moving forward. I love her and the idea that she is being harassed by somebody who is supposed to love her breaks my heart. However, if I do find something sorted or learn that she was complicit in any way, I am done with a relationship that instant. I don't believe in marriage counseling and instances of infidelity and even if I did incest, there is no way I could look at her the same again. Update. So I didn't sleep at all last night and when she woke up I made breakfast. I told her I shouldn't have blown up and that we should probably sit down tonight and talk about things. She agreed like she wasn't even upset to begin with and said she knew she had probably been acting badly. I told her that the sort of harassment she was dealing with was infinitely more difficult because he is a member of the family. She just seemed to agree with me. I wasn't going to snoop but so many people in here told me I ought to and not wanting to be accused of not taking the advice I asked for. I decided to go through with it and check her emails. But the way she was acting this morning I had fewer reasons to be suspicious at this point. What the heck, and I did just check her emails. The level of disgust hatred and anger I feel cannot be expressed right and there will be a divorce. There was one email entitled Yummy and upon opening it, I found a picture of her cousin with semen on his face. The back and forth are him describing to her his encounters with random gay men. They make reference to past sexual encounters they've had together, complete with one picture of a strap on Deldo. Captioned I still have our old friend. Then I read some absolutely disgusting filth talk between them where she is behaving in a very dominating way and insulting his penis size. Looking at the dates I realized that this was from a year ago. As I continue to read I'm able to figure out at least from how it reads that they used to hook up frequently but stopped after we got married. We were together for several years before we got married. Later she starts using the I'm married excuse but it's reading like that's just a kink of his to be told he can't touch her anymore, which he probably does. I'm raising her kid and she does this to me. I've wasted the last six years changing my work schedule and not taking better paying jobs because I need hours where I'm able to watch him. I went outside and sat on the front porch, called my brother over and after explaining to him the entire situation asked him to take my gun from me for the time being. I'm not a violent person I never have been, but in the state I'm in now I'm fluctuating between wanting to kill him and wanting to kill myself. I'm not going to but I feel like I'm headed for a breakdown and I can't trust her anymore. I'll behave rationally after this. I'm packing up my clothes and checking into a hotel. These conversations have all been printed. I've sent copies to myself and when I have time I'm digging for more dirt. I bought a pack of cigarettes, even though I stopped smoking four years ago. I have to make an appointment at some STD clinic because according to these vile back and forth a part of his thing is having unprotected sex with these men. My soon-to-be ex-wife has a divorce and as such I've never once in all these years worn protection with her. So now I apparently have months of biting my nails to look forward to as I understand AIDS tests take months. I know his work schedule roughly because I used to work for the same company he does. So maybe before checking in and composing myself I'm just going to drive down to see his wife's evidence in hand. There's no fixing this. There's no therapy, no hope, nothing positive and I don't care to even entertain an apology. I'm divorcing this ducker and she will get nothing. I hate life right now, I don't feel depressed or sad, I haven't cried. I just have this hot ball of rage in my chest that the cigarettes only briefly cool. I can't be near her or him. I know I said, I'm not violent but man I really want to beat the piss out of both of them. 